Creating custom animated captions is now easier than ever. But how, you might be asking? Well, you can now convert captions into editable text layers in Premiere Pro. I am going to cover the entire process in this video, from creating your captions to changing them into editable text layers. To do this, you will need Adobe Premiere Pro. If you don't have it already, I have put a download link down in the description if you want to try it out. So to start off, we're going to need a clip in our timeline. So we're going to start with this short 20 second clip here. Now we can begin. So for a while now, if we go up to workspaces in this top right hand corner, we can see that Adobe has had this captions and graphics workspace. So I'm going to go ahead and bring us to the captions and graphics workspace. And as you see, we have these new options in this top left hand panel. So we want to begin with the text panel where we will begin the process. So once you are at this point in the panel, make sure you have your clip selected in the timeline. And if you have a singular clip, then you can proceed. So let's say you have two clips now and you only want this first clip to be subtitled. You don't want the second clip to be transcribed or subtitled. Then we will need to set an in and out point. To do this, you can use the shortcut keys I to set the in point and O to set the out point. So very intuitive there. Once you have done this, you can simply go up to the left top hand panel, make sure you are in the text panel and click on create transcription. And then you will see this pop up where you can choose the language. So we will stick with English, the speaker labeling, which is nice because if there are two speakers, then it will tag each speaker and you will know who is talking. Then you have the audio analysis. So this is which track it will be transcribing. So right now we only have one track that we want to transcribe, but if there are multiple audio layers, then you want to make sure you are only transcribing one of them or like we have now, we have mix, which would transcribe each of the tracks um, if we had multiple. And like I mentioned before, we set our in and out point. So if you have done this, you want to say transcribe in to out point only, and this will make sure that only this area is transcribed. And then we will hit transcribe, let it do its magic. And here we have a transcription. Then what we wanna to do to get the captions is click on this little CC button, create captions. We will click on that. And then you can scroll down this little preferences arrow here you can also change the caption format and you can change the style if you have a specific custom style for your text. Then you have the maximum length and characters. So this is how many words will pop up on the caption for one singular line. So I usually like to do a shorter like 20, but let's just stick to seven for now so that it is one to two words for each caption. Then I always set the minimum duration to 1.2. And unless you want gaps between your captions, just keep this at zero. And then I prefer personally to do single line captions, but there are times where double line captions will be a lot better. And then simply click create captions. And as you can see on this new track, the subtitle track, we have our captions. Now these will not be perfect. They will not completely aligned with what he's saying. Some words will be off. And so what you can do to change that is you can come up to the left hand panel again and say you want to change. I went say he said I said and you simply double click on that and say I said and it will change in the top left and on your screen. So right here now I will click control Z to undo that. Now this is the best part. So you may or may not know that once you have these captions, they are actually a different type of layer that you cannot add effects to. So if we come up to effect controls, there is nothing we can do to these captions to animate them, to move them around. Everything you have to do is in the essential graphics panel, which is very limited. So what we will do is select all of the captions and we will come up to graphics and titles. Then we will use this new feature, upgrade caption to graphic. Click on that and boom, as you can see, Adobe did his magic. And now you have editable text layers that you can animate, you can play around with, and it is just a lot more convenient than having captions that you can't do anything with. So as you can see, we'll click on the text layer and boom. In effect controls, you can edit it, you can animate it. So let's do a little quick animation. First, you wanna make sure that your Anchor point is in the right spot, so click on vector motion and then pull this anchor point down into the middle here. Let's set a keyframe at zero and then let's go four steps forward and do 110. Let's go back to the first keyframe and make that 50. And then let's select all of our keyframes here, right click it, go to temporal interpolation and choose ease in. There are lots of different ways you can ease these um, transitions. This is just like a very easy, quick one that I'm going to show you. And as you can see, we have a nice scale up on this text. I went to 
And if you want to duplicate this animation, then you can right click it, save preset, let's name it test, select anchor to endpoint so that it happens at the beginning, select OK, then do shift seven. This is a shortcut that will bring you to the effects um, panel. Go to your presets and let's take test and throw it on our other text layers. And now we have three nicely animated text layers. I went to school. Very smooth, very simple, and a lot better than basic captions in my opinion. I went to school. If this video helped you out in any way, please support the channel. It's free and it really helps me out.